Okay, go ahead. The gift. Country, country spelling. Mm -hmm. The gift. The year was 1940 and Franklin Roosevelt was president at the time. All the times were a lot of, uh, a lot, a lot better than they were a few years before. It was still a hard, uh, still hard times. If you were a dirt farmer in southeastern Kentucky, the story takes place near the title town of Living, Living, uh, Livingston, Kentucky, where the Jones family lived at the time. There was Jesse, his wife Martha, and their son Richard. They lived four miles or so out of Livingston, on the Old Red Hill Road in 38th Acre Farm. They had a good Jersey milk cow, two work mules, a flock of chicken, and two good hunting dogs. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Richard loved living on the farm. Sometimes late in the evening, he would walk down the tight and narrow gravel road to his grandfather's house. His name was Willie Durham. Durham. He was a tall, slim man with hair as white as snow. Richard loved to hear him tell stories about things that happened long ago. He loved to eat his grandmother cooking. Okay. One day, while Richard was sitting on the porch, talking to his grandfather, he noticed his grandfather looking down at his shoes. Richard felt ashamed because the side of his shoes were busted up. Busted up. You could see his feet right through the side. Finally, he looked at Richard and said, Son, it looks like to me you are going to have to get you some shoes or go barefooted one. Richard looked down at his feet and said, Yeah, I know. They are trying to come out to pick grass. It is the spring of the year, you know. A week or two later, Richard went with his dad in the old truck to Livingstone. As they crossed the big bridge that went into towns, his dad stopped it and his dad, his dad stopped it, the old truck right in the middle of the bridge and said, Son, look down they are, uh, there at the railroad truck. Richard stretched his neck out the trunk window and looked down. It sure did look like it was a long way down. Richard looked back at his dad and asked, Dad, where does the railroad track go? He answered, Richard, that is the M and N railroad, <coughs> and it's go all the way to Cincinnati, where your uncle Jake lay, la, uh, lives. Then Richard asked, where did it go if you go the other way? He stayed said. You ask too many questions. All the <laughs> way to Tennessee, <Genesis>, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, they lived up the road about two miles. Sometimes they would sneak off from home and get into minutes. Richard finished milking and then he went and told his father about their little girls. He, his dad said, I don't know why them grow, why them girls is so mean. They got a good mother and, dad, and daddy, but sometimes I wonder if them kids he is his or not. In a way, I believe somebody else was sneaking around there about nine months before the, them girls was born. About that time, Richard's mom, Marsha, work out on their porch where Jesus and Richard were at. She said, Yes, yes, you, yes, 
Josh, Hi. I'm here, it's okay. There's just cur curious. Mm -hmm. curious. They will be fine young ladies some, some days. Jace is safe. Well, I hope so. When they got to the barn, they began to talk. Richard was, be, be, uh, Richard was being quiet as a mouse. All at once, Uncle, uh, Uncle Jack said, Jesse, how much money did you make on this farm last year? For a few seconds, it was quiet, Jesse said. I don't know, just barely getting by. You know, how is, how is it? How it is on a farm? Jack answered. Yes. I, I know only too good, Jesse. If I can get you a job where I work, will you come and work? Jesse answered. Yes, if you can get me a job, I will do my best. Then Jack said. I'll see what I can do. I have seen the side of Richard's shoes and I know you would buy him some, some new ones if you had the money. 